Okay, I'd like to walk you through the steps on how to produce a scatter plot uh, in StatCrunch and to be able to use that information to answer all the questions during this homework assignments. So let's take a look at this data. It's real easy. You're going to be given a link here. Let's see. We're going to click that link and, and I'm going to open it in StatCrunch. Now, technically, you can do this in Excel if you would like as well. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to do it in StatCrunch. Okay, so I've opened up StatCrunch. Here it is, and we see the same data that you saw before in the table. And I just now have opened it in StatCrunch. And what I like to do is take a look at this graph. So we're going to graph this. Going to be click on Graph and then come down to scatter plot. Okay, so what we're wanting to look at is our price as being controlled by the capacity in, what is that, terabytes? I assume this is, what are we talking about here? Let's get a little context before this. Uh, computer drives. Okay, so basically how much you're paying is going to be dependent on how powerful it is uh, in terabytes. So that's our price there. So our X values are input or the explanatory variable. And our output is going to be the price. Okay. So with that, we're going to, let's see if we need to do anything else. Uh, we're going to display this as points, and that's fine. So that's all we need to do is basically tell it what our x variable is, what our y variable is, and that we want to display this using points. Okay, don't need to put in any other information at this time. And we're going to compute this. Okay. So, what you should notice when looking at this, there seems to be a positive correlation because price is going up as capacity in terabytes is going up. However, it doesn't look really very straight. So, there appears to be a little upward curve in this situation here. It's minor. And generally, I could probably still... Uh, let's see if we can go ahead and put a line in here. Let's do that, and let's see, can I display, hang on, do, 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 optional. I'm going to put a first degree polynomial is a line, and it's actually going to be the line of best fit, so that's it. A second degree polynomial will be a parabola, so that's how it works. So a line is first degree polynomial, and let's go ahead and put it in. So we can see it definitely does look like there's a curve to it. Uh, we could probably get away with modeling it uh, with a linear regression, but be maybe not as accurate as we would want. But uh, next big question, is this point here an outlier or not? And generally, when we look at outliers, what we're really concerned is, is that they are not part of the pattern. And I'm thinking that this curve here, if I drew it out, looks like that line would be really nicely inside the curve. So it does not look like it's an outlier, uh, even though it's very far away from everything else. So on a point like this, we say this point has a lot of leverage. So imagine this line here is a lever. The further you are out on your lever with your arms pu pushing it down or up, the more power you have or the more leverage you have. So this point is called a highly leveraged point because it's really far away from the other end of the line or the other end of the data. Uh, and that's how we would look at this and make the graph. 